What's up, man? 25 Gamers. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some pressure out of the 2-3-6 formation. And uh, this is our base zone blitz. The play we're going to be looking at today is the Sugar 3 DB Fire. What I like to do with the Sugar 3 DB Fire, guys, I like to base line, I like to press, I like to crash my line out, and I like to re-blitz my right of screen outside linebacker. I don't know why I just backed off the coverage. apologize for that. And this is the look that you're going to have. This is two-way pressure. Um, you're going to get two guys free. All right. So that's the two-way right out of the way. Now, if you want to send it off the left, baseline press, crash line out. Remember to spread your line because sometimes that can have an effect. If you want to send it off the left, just don't re-blitz your right of screen linebacker and you're good. All right. If you want to send it off of the right, only right, then do the following. Base align. You don't want to baseline press first. You want to do the linebacker adjustments first. So, if you, so like I said, what I like to do is make all my adjustments and then baseline press. I like to baseline press very at the last thing. So if I want to send it off of the if I want to send the two way, I'll re blitz both outside linebackers, spread my line and crash out, and then I'll man align and then I'll baseline and press so that the yellow zones are balanced. That's what I'm looking to get there. Balanced yellow zones over the top, three deep, two under coverage with two guys coming free at the quarterback every time. So then I want to send off the left. So what do I do? I man align first Baseline press, spread line, crash out, done. And then I'm in the middle of the field. Pressure's going to come off the left edge. And then again, if I want to send it off the right side, what I like to do is globally zone my linebackers, man align, baseline press, or excuse me, don't man align yet. You want to re-blitz that linebacker on the right because that's what you have to do. So let me reset that because uh, you guys are maybe may get confused here. All right, set up for the right edge pressure. You just um, are going to globally zone your linebackers, and then you're going to re-blitz your right of screen linebacker. Okay? Then you man align, baseline press to get the zones to play proper. And remember to spread line crash out, of course. And you're going to get pressure off the right. Setups will be in the description for you guys. So that's the, basics way, that's the basic way I like to blitz out of this. Um... And it's just—it's pretty simple, guys. It really is. I mean, it sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. Once you read the setup, you're gonna be like, "Oh, duh! Why didn't I think of that?" You know? So, definitely, definitely, definitely check this pressure out. This pressure's pretty good because it comes in so fast, and I, but it also comes in against play action, and that's what I really want to show you. A lot of people are using play action blocking to stop pressure. Well, both pressures out of the two, three, six, and this is why I like it so much. Well, one of the reasons out of the many reasons. Both pressures come in uh, against play action. So here, we call it a play action play. We put the running back out on our route. You see the left edge is still going to come in untouched, no matter what. And they can slide protect. It's they got to have to block a running back, no matter what. All right. And then third or the, um, the right side pressure, if they're in a play action play, and they put the running back on a route, right side pressure is going to still come in. And then if we if they block the running back, so instead of putting the running back out on a route, they're calling a play action play and they block the running back. And we decide we're going to send the two way heat. Well, they're both going to come in free. Second here, and we should get one guy free at the quarterback. And there you see we got the guy off the left edge free. So that's the basics to blitzing a man 25, and that's the basics to blitzing out of zone looks, and that setups for him for the 2-3-6 guys. I like to use those blitzes sparingly. Usually like to use them in third down situations. So thanks for watching today. Be sure to come back tomorrow when we go show you our man-to-man -man complement of the same pressure. Thanks, guys.